Hey guys, it's Brad. Well, I picked this house for you because I thought for 25,000 euros, it was a hell of a deal. Even if you really only got the first floor, which has been pretty well remodeled. The second floor needs a serious remodel and the third floor basically needs to get rebuilt from scratch. So I'm going to take you guys through this floor by floor and then we're going to see some more shopping items. So let's start off on the first floor, the ground floor and the kitchen and it looks pretty decent. The windows have been redone. Everything is pretty tight looking. The floor looks like it's in good shape. I don't see any serious problems. Now I wanted to show you guys some different components again that you can find. These are all going to be coming from Obi, one of the Italy's biggest national chains like a Home Depot. Now, I'm showing you stuff that is commensurate with this type of property. You're not going to be putting in a $50,000 kitchen into a 25,000 euro house. And if you're new to my channel, I wanted to remind you that I actually worked for over 20 years in my own company working on investment properties. And I did a lot of the work myself, as you can see from this photo. So I know a thing or two about putting these things together. In this type of property, I think whether or not you like the style of what I'm showing you here, this is about the quality that you would need to put into it. And it's all readily available. So this is a 12 inch by 12 inch, a 30 centimeter square backsplash tile. It's about 12 US dollars. Very similar to the US. Same thing with the sink. And remember, there's no sales tax on these prices. Sales tax has already been included. So that sink, this mixer, this faucet is 70 euros out the door. Again, I don't see anything seriously wrong with the kitchen. At this price point, I think it would be fine. But maybe you want to switch out some of the appliances. Now, that stove is probably old. It probably functions. But maybe for four or 500 euros, you want to go with something a bit more updated. Stainless steel like this one, under 400 euros. And getting home delivery is not expensive. This one's even bigger. It's a five burner with a very big oven, under 800 euros. And you can find refrigerators from very inexpensive to pretty nice stuff like this with ice and water in the door. And again, there's tons of shops nearby. Now everybody's different. I like the stove, even in brown. I don't like that long of an exhaust pipe. I worry about leaks and maybe a possible problem with carbon monoxide. I'm also not a huge fan of exposed wiring like that. I use decorative exposed wiring on a couple chandeliers that we just installed, but I think this is a little different. The door seemed okay that was in that photo, but I just wanted to show you, for example, don't crucify me in comments if you wanted to change it, for 150 euros you could knock it out. So overall I think the kitchen is certainly livable the way it is. Maybe for a thousand euros or three thousand with all new appliances you could update it really nice. But it's your place, you're the one buying it. So you can figure out exactly what you want to do. And speaking of that, write in comments how you would approach this project. What would you do to the kitchen? How would you do the bedrooms upstairs? And what on earth would you do with that upper attic? that you're going to see in a moment and how much do you think it's going to cost you? I think the bathroom is not where I would be putting my money to start. You need to get the rest of the house in order. It looks like it's pretty functional. But that being said, look at what you can get here for not very much money. Here's a base with the sink included for $2.99. Now you're going to need to buy the faucets. Here's a freestanding glass shower. It's about $2.50. And then the tray underneath is going to run you about another 100 euros. Or you can go with an all-in-one unit like this for about 600 euros if you want to have a massage shower. And then here's a bidet with the fixture. You'll be at under 150. Figure another 50 for piping. Here's a, just another choice on a bidet. Slightly different, a little bit more modern of a look. Very nice. Figure maybe 50 to 100 euros to have a plumber put it in. Your toilet, not bad, 100 euros, about $110. And remember, again, these prices include tax. And you're saying to yourself, yeah, but I don't know a plumber in this town. But you're going to meet people at the bakery and the meat shop and the grocery store, and you're going to tell them you need a plumber, and they're going to have a cousin or a brother. Somebody is going to be able to help you out. 
So this is the ground floor bedroom, the one that's been redone. And it looks pretty nice. They did a very acceptable job on this. Not a high-end refinish, but the windows are new. They're double pane. The floor looks good. The walls are solid. I think it's a pretty nice looking place. If you look underneath the window at the ground level, you can still see exposed wiring. Something you just want to have checked out. Now we're going up a, another level and this is one of the bedrooms that hasn't been redone. I want to show you this up close of the windows. The windows are old, maybe not original, but they're very old. They have to be replaced. You can see water damage underneath the sill. So let's go shopping for some windows. So these windows aren't as tall as the ones in the room we just showed, but this gives you an idea of price. About 250 euros, probably more like three, three and a quarter to get the size of the window in the previous photo. And then I always figure about the same amount to have them mounted. And this room has two sets of windows, and then you also need to buy the shades. So I would be planning about six to 700 euros per window. But that's not your biggest problems in here. Something like this might be pretty simple to cover up. But when you look really closely at the photos, which you should always blow them up and look at them closely, you can see this place needs a lot of work. There's cracking, there's stonework that needs to be redone. I don't know the shape of the rafters, how good they are. There's wiring exposed everywhere. This isn't cute decorative wiring. This is just wiring run onto the walls absolutely everywhere. The door has to go. Look around the window. Look underneath the window. All that's going to have to be fixed up. It's in really bad shape. You're going to need to spend some very serious money on this remodel. How much money? Hard to say. When you figure in, does it maybe need a new roof? Is there any foundation work? Is there structural work to be done? Plus just adding all the new windows, etc., etc.? I think you could be easily looking at 50 to 70,000 euros to bring this place up to speed. And that doesn't include the attic, which we still haven't gotten to. I think that when you went through this place, you should go ahead and put all the wiring back into the walls. That's just not cool. And when you look really closely at your photos, you can see that in every room on this level, you're going to have to redo the windows and redo some structural work just to get it back to where it should be. I mean, they're using an angle iron in that photo just to keep the window together. And remember, always blow up the photos when you're looking at all these listings. You have to catch all these details. You might be able to cross something off your list without ever having to bother an agent or go to a town just to look at it. I mean, really. This is not just paint and spackle, but at a 25,000 euro starting price, and remember, that's their asking price, not the price you're going to offer or the price you're going to settle on. It's going to be somewhere in between. You might get a screaming deal and have extra cash to put into this thing. Here's a photo of like a cantina area, I believe. It was kind of vague in the description. Looks like there's another bathroom or at least a half bath that's not included in the count and a collection of TVs, it seems like. But this room and also the attic are complete redos. But it looks in this photo like the windows in the attic have been redone. Those look like newer windows. So you need to get with the agent when you're looking at a house and really see what the status is. Last but not least, guys, I wanted to show you some of the businesses that are in town. And I got more excited about this whole deal when I saw these different businesses. They have, in general, very good reviews. Here's a live music place, a neat pizza place, a bakery with pretty cute stuff that they're making. And the next one, I really like this, Patisseria. Nice young staff, really high quality, looks clean, looks sharp. It's not a rundown place. These are the kind of businesses that you're going to find in this town. And remember, you're still only 40 minutes from Perugia. That's the capital of the whole province. This bar I was really interested in because that looks like an awfully damn good cocktail, which I could use right now. Guys, I really appreciate you coming along for the ride, and we'll see you again soon on Brad's World. If you need me, go to bradsworld.it, and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.